parents. I, like many people, have parents. And even better, I think they're pretty good ones. My mom and dad have always wanted the best for me and my brother and didn't let us do stupid stuff like lean back too far in our chairs at the dinner table. So good job on not letting us be stupid, guys. Thumbs up, gold star. Well, I did lean back too far that one time, but I'll give you a pass on that one. And I learned my lesson. Everyone has some sort of guardian figure in their life, and I'm always gonna be grateful I was able to grow up in a loving family with good parents. There's been ups and downs, arguments, disagreements, but when it all comes down to it, they're just looking out for me. Jaden, tie your shoes before riding your bike! <laughs> what do you know? I'm actually at a big step in my life right now because I'm moving out of their house. I'll finally be out of the nest, making my own choices, a free bird. If I want to have oatmeal for dinner, my family's not going to be there to walk in and look at me weird. I don't care about your oatmeal as a breakfast food. I like it and will eat it when I desire, just watch me! Moving out has made me think a lot about my life growing up and everything my parents have done for me to be able to get to this point. And even though I can totally make a heartfelt video about all the sacrifices they've made and nights they've spent caring for me. I'm gonna talk about funny stupid stuff because that makes a better YouTube video. I'm on my own now, I got bills to pay. When I was little I wasn't a picky eater. I'm pretty sure I ate most anything on my plate. Some kids are all, no, I do not like the taste of this mush and will not consume it no matter what you tell me. I will sit here with a pouty lip and arms crossed for all eternity in this high chair and when I die of starvation it will be your fault. Hun, just eat the friggin' carrots. Even though I wasn't a picky eater, my parents would always make up games to try and get me to eat stuff I still didn't like. One night we were all at the dinner table and my mom had the brilliant parent idea of saying, Hey, how about we have a contest of who can eat the most green beans the quickest? Harmless, right? She was just thinking it would be an easy and sneaky way for us to get in more vegetables. But she underestimated my power. You dare challenge me? Not only will I win, but I will eat the most green beans you've ever seen anyone eat in their entire life. I ate so many green beans in such a short amount of time that night. I won, obviously, because everyone else was a scrub. But after dinner, I got really sick and my mom's plan kind of backfired. But I still won, so... Besides the infamous green bean eating contest, which we never did again, my mom always had a who can make the loudest carrot crunch competition. I don't need to explain the rules, it's right in the name. My brother and I would go crazy over that contest. We didn't even think about how we were eating carrots, we just wanted to defeat everyone else. It wasn't until recently I was thinking about it and went, wait, did you make that contest just so we'd eat more carrots? Heh. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Even my mom's sister was tricky with my cousins and getting them to eat their vegetables. My mom told me stories about how when my cousin was just barely learning numbers and counting, they'd be eating dinner and she'd say to my aunt, Mommy, I don't want any more carrots. How about you just eat three more? How about five? Hmm... Well, okay, fine. Parents have become the masters of getting kids to eat vegetables, which is good. I applaud them for it. Nutrition is important, kids. Like, how many times has your mom just randomly baked you brownies as a kid? And how many times did you think about if there was broccoli in it? Ha! Gotcha, kiddo! You're getting so much vitamin C and K right now, you don't even know! If you didn't know about that, there's a way you can hide broccoli and brownies as an easy way to get kids to consume more nutrients without them fighting you because they only want to live off sugar. Brownies are good at hiding a lot of stuff, actually. Have you ever heard of black bean brownies? There's ways you can add black beans to brownies and no one will even know. Here's one. Go and dry it if you want. It's a good way to add protein to your diet because everyone's so obsessed with protein and for some reason society thinks it's the only macronutrient we ever need and carbs are the devil and will destroy your life and kill everyone you love and <sighs> that's a tangent for another video. So yeah, two people who didn't know, you can hide broccoli and brownies, black beans, some people try other herbs. Let's move on. I'm gonna tell this story because it's kind of stupid and doesn't matter but I'm still a bit salty about this so you'll probably get a kick out of it. Every kid has their thing growing up. Some liked dolls, some liked cars, some liked pushing other kids off the swings. I was all about stuffed animals. They were my jam. Still kinda are. Anyway, one day I said, hey, I like stuffed animals and I like Pokemon. <gasps> 
Mom, Blaziken plush. Oh my frig. Don't say frig. My mind was blown. Two of my favorite things combined together. Blaziken was and is my favorite Pokemon, so I was desperate to have this Blaziken Poke doll. I was willing to wash the dishes, clean the house, make a deal with the Underlord, sell lemonade, and since my mom's such a pushover, and since my mom's so nice, she let me and my brother pick out a Poke doll we each liked. I, of course, picked out the Blaziken, and my brother got the Totodile one. And can we just stop and appreciate this Totodile, by the way? Let's continue. So my mom ordered the plushes, they were like 20 bucks or something, and we were pretty happy campers when they arrived. I loved that Blaziken doll for a really long time, but of course, as with most children and their toys, I started playing with it less after a while. I still liked it, but I gradually stopped bringing it everywhere and eventually just kept it in my closet. Maybe like a couple years ago, the memory of it just popped into my head and I wanted to look at it again. Yeah, I remember all the fun times I had with that doll. I'd take it everywhere I went, I'd fall asleep with it. Where'd it go? I don't remember where it would be. Mom, do you know where my old Blaziken polka doll went? I can't find it. I got rid of it. You what? Sometime when my mom was going through all her stuff, she decided to get rid of my Blaziken polka doll without asking me. I was crushed. <laughs> well, that is a bit extreme. I went from having a normal day to having a bit of a less good day. But then I thought, wait, I'm an adult. I can just find another one and buy it myself. I don't need my mom's permission anymore. So I looked on Google to try and find a new Blaziken polka doll, and apparently now they're ultra rare collector's items that aren't even being sold anymore and freaking worth a crap ton of money. Now I'm having even less of a good day. Yeah, apparently these things are worth like more than a hundred bucks now and everyone's desperate to have one and we bought it when it was like twenty dollars. Mom, do you realize what you've done? So it's become my goal. Someday I will have another Blaziken polka doll. One, because I really like it. And two, I'm not a collector of anything, but now this might seem a bit evil to people in the rare collectors community. I want to have as many rare polka dolls as I can find just because I'm not a collector. I want to have all these polka dolls that are super rare and then a collector is like, holy crap, you have the set of Hoenn Starter Evolution polka dolls? Can I have them? And I can be like, no. Ah, do you realize how rare these are? Collectors like me would pay anything to have them. I know, and that's why I want it. I'm on a journey to get as many rare polka dolls as I can now. I think my target is Blaziken, Swampert, and Sceptile because it's the trio and they're my absolute favorite and they're stupid rare. It's an evil plan, I know, but I think it's funny. This video ended up being like 60% of me talking about getting tricked into eating vegetables. I have more stuff to tell, so I guess there's room for a sequel video. It won't be next though because I like having other videos in between sequels, but it's on the list. It was also coincidentally my mom's birthday the other day, so happy birthday mom! I'm gonna take you out to dinner soon, I just had to get this video done. But it's up now, so yeah. Let me know where you want to go. Anyway, I think there was something else I wanted to say here, and I think it was important because I remember thinking to myself, oh, I don't need to write that down. It's too important for me to forget, or something like that. And here we are. This is a bit awkward. Watch, I'm gonna remember right as I click upload for this video because that's totally something my brain would do to me. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs>